you're a sky, cause you're a sky full of stars I'm gonna give you my heart Cause you're a sky, cause you're a sky full of stars Cause you light up the pot favorite moments was going to Gosford Public School and we had a group of kids who had been experiencing different types of trauma who probably didn't really know each other that well until we started working with them and it was such a beautiful day we were doing art outside we started off with one big canvas and a lot of kids were just sort of painting quite independently and then we thought let's pick this up a bit so I got out the guitar so we started singing together and kids were choosing songs and we were singing. They started dancing on the canvas. There was paint all over their feet. They were dancing and doing the twist. They started painting each other's faces. And it was just such a joy to watch them all having so much fun and being really in the moment with each other. And my most defining moment on the Track to Man journey for the Art Cabriolet was in Manly in New South Wales, where we worked with the most amazing children who had life-limited conditions and ability to communicate. And there I witnessed such magic between the art therapist and the music therapist and this little girl. And they got her to touch paint, listen to the music, feel the vibrations of the music. And eventually there's this huge smile that just spread all over her face and she kind of giggled and in you could feel that she was communicating and just turning around and watching her mother see her daughter respond like that was just an incredible moment and so my most memorable moment was seeing and being a part of creating smiles for everyone we created smiles for people we created smiles um allowed everyone to choose uh, to make an easy option. So the credit to uh, the art cap, uh, practicing what they preach, creating smiles. I think he did create smiles on people. Um, I think it's a lovely thing to do. Um, it was an honor to be a part of the, the program, or the uh, program, the adventure, but more so I imagine. And yeah, and in Blitz call it was an adventure because it was an adventure. And, it was nice to meet all the lovely people involved to, to, de to dedicate their time, their effort, and demonstrating that empathy and compassion as I'm talking about. Uh, it was an honour to be around that. Memorable time, though, almost valuable experience for me was working at Yes High um, with some kids from very troubled backgrounds, like pink hair and red hair and blue hair, cross gender. Um, and basically rebels of the school. They felt that no one listened. Um, they spent most of the time during school hours in the toilet because no one cared. Um, so we got there and they expressed themselves through us. And when we started painting the tractor, we started the constellation on one of the um, tractor wheels. And then they started opening up about why they're at, who they are, where they want to be, and, and basically their purpose in life. The one that I would like to talk about is the one that highlighted for me just the strong sense of community that I felt. And we set up a little art studio space um, in, the, in the back of the truck with Mick manning the fort and um, I was inside working as the art therapist and Mick was at the at the door sort of helping the kids in and out of the truck and um, uh, get, fetching paint and water and all sorts of wonderful things like that and um, also often being asked for comment on the, on the artwork by the kids and, and his responses were beautiful every time. Um, and yeah, it was a really, it was a, it was a moment where I really thought this is, 
this is a group of people working together. There was nothing that was going to stop us from working with those kids. Uh, one of the defining moments for me, uh, meet Hank, uh, was in Goulburn when we um, were, it was a rainy kind of dark morning and we were at a youth centre, Angels of the Forgotten I think it was called, and there was this lady there who, you know, looked a bit out of sorts and I think was feeling a bit out of sorts when she first got there, uh, but she was given a canvas and then she was, um, she started to do her painting and she was doing an outline of her, of her hand. She was saying, before she got there, she was feeling really anxious because, you know, she didn't know who was going to be there, how many people, what she was going to do, that kind of thing. And um, this is like about an hour or two into the process and she was saying how good she was feeling. See the value of art therapy and of the art cabaret because it, it really does, I hadn't seen this sort of thing before, it really changes people's demeanour and their confidence and yeah, it's really wonderful to see. My defining moment came at Bear College when I was lucky enough to meet this young lass, that's young Lily. She's such a photographic young thing, just lying there doing nothing but she just blew me away in actual fact. She has such, what, what struck me about Lily was her eyelashes. That's the longest set of eyelashes I've ever seen on a youngster in my life. They were absolutely gorgeous. He just tamed it all in. We actually had to, uh, the girls had to uh, wake her up to put the paint on her fingers to do the painting on the on the uh, timber. And we had to wake her up again when she trying to do her wheelchair painting on the uh, on the canvas. On the very last day, when we worked with a cross section of young people teenage mums, uh, kids in foster care, regular school and quite a privileged school, an international school. And what I came to see was that the privilege really is being loved. Uh, it's not the resources. It's having people, having adults around who express that love for that young person. And it became so clear in the absence of it, the sound and the feel and the touch of the absence of love showed how valuable um, what we sometimes take for granted really is. The most defining moment for me on the Track to Man journey was actually on the second day and I really learned how art uh, therapy can change a group's dynamic. The whole process was really interesting because it was one young man who was kind of taking over the canvas and I noticed that the group just dispersed from this um, canvas and then there was another young man who was working on his own um, and I was spending a lot of time with him trying to get him to engage with the group. At this stage the boy that I'd been working with was a bit more sort of um, engaged with doing art. We brought him over to the canvas with the other group of kids and um, he started, so we started actually putting him in a leadership role and, and saying to him, you know, sort of guiding the group. And he took on this role um, with his art. So he actually started to bring the group together again. And the boy that was originally um, in the bushes running wild, he came into the fold too. And it was incredible because the group energy had changed quite dramatically. Let love conquer your mind